YouTube, it's Piping JB. How's everyone's week been going? It's Sunday, it's my first day off of the week. It's been a nice breezy week, keeping up with the health trend. I've lost eight pounds. From 207, the biggest I've been in like three years, down to 199 this morning. And this morning, very stoked about that. Gotta get out of those 200s, man. It's not where I'm supposed to be. Got some exciting things possibly coming up. Next week, my local tobacconist is throwing their annual pipe night. It's gonna be a lot of raffles, barbecue, southern hospitality, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna be going there and covering everything for you guys. I'm gonna be taking a lot of video, talking to a lot of pipe smokers, so we might meet some new friends. And we might meet up with some current friends. There's a chance me and John Meadows' Soul Patch Piper might be linking up and doing a little video for you guys at the pipe meet. And if there's any other Georgia boys out there who think they can make it to Hiram, that's around Paulding County, if you can make it there, hit me up. Drop some comments, I'll send you all the details. It's gonna be next Friday, I believe that's the 18th. So hopefully, Soul Patch Piper can make it happen. He's got a lot going on right now. New grandbaby, congratulations, brother. That's a beautiful thing. Hopefully we can make it happen though. Try to lock it in, bro. Today, I'm gonna be showcasing a little risk I took. This is my pipe check today. We've got the Fulu Show Stubby Billiard. Now this was a risk for me. Found this on Amazon for $25. I was wanting to try a stubby pipe, wanting to see how the uh, smoking experience differed from, you know, the standard length pipes that I'm usually seen puffing on. But yeah, Amazon pipe, $25, that's a risk, right? But it was advertised as real briar, which it looks and feels that way. It's got some beautiful grain on it, and we'll go up close and show you uh, some more details. All right, we're looking, all right, we're looking at the Fula Show. You see on the bottom, you got this nice, smooth, beautiful grain. And it's also smooth around the rim. This nice little bevel. Got kind of a rough rusticated on the side, kind of like a sandblast. And then this is obviously their attempt at like some imitation bone, but that is definitely plastic on the stumble and a very plastic saddle stem. But as you can see, I don't even really clinch that much. And you got some markage up here. But that's okay. For $25, I'm not too heartbroken. And I think it's a beautiful pipe. We're gonna fire this up. Inside, I have some of that Met Baron roll cake. C is for chameleon. Let's fire it up. Now, it's a great smoker. It really is. I mean, for $25, I'm blown away. Didn't expect this level of smokability. Now, a few things I do notice, it is a very deep bowl. So it's a fairly long smoke, but things obviously tend to get hot. Do you find that with shorter stubby pipes? Do you find that they smoke a little hotter? Well, obviously, it's a great clincher, but there's always a catch with that, at least with a $25 pipe. Great clincher, great smoker, very plastic bit. Perfect pocket size, I'm not gonna put this in my pocket. I will break it. But it's always a risk ordering something in this price range, especially from Amazon. But it's got a beautiful look, a beautiful kind of ridged, rusticated pattern, which you saw in the up close. A very smooth, kind of beveled, smooth top, smooth bottom. It's got a very subtle insignia. Yeah, I'm curious. Have you ever taken a risk, bought a cheap pipe? A cheap new pipe, not a state pipe. A cheap new pipe, maybe off of Amazon, and be pleasantly surprised instead of woefully disappointed? Let me know. Cheap pipes is something I like to talk about. This thing even came pre-carbonized. Still going through that regular break-in method. I've had them about a month or two. And he's found a place in the rotation. I don't like to take him out and about, though. That's why I bought him. I wanted to have a very pocketable pipe, but 
it's a little too fragile for that. It's really just the bit. The briar feels fine. It feels like real briar, smokes like real briar. Coffee. New England coffee I brewed up this morning. Um cake smoking nicely out of this guy. Fun to take a risk and have it turn out, you know? Have it turn out to be something you actually enjoy. And I do enjoy this little pipe, and I recommend it. You know what, I'll, I'll find him again on Amazon and I'll put that link down in my box. Along with the details to the pipe show coming up next Friday, hopefully we can get kind of a little party going. Anyone in the surrounding area, if you're interested in coming, please drop me a line. We'll have, we'll basically go up there and we'll bomb them. We'll bomb them with the YTPC and get all that on film for you guys. I'm going to finish up the rest of this bowl, get my Sunday started, finish up my coffee. I hope to hear from some of you guys, hear your thoughts on stubby pipes, hear your thoughts on cheap pipes, taking risks, and being rewarded. But until next time, this has been Piping JB. Thank you for tuning in and stay cool. Thank you.